we're all at peace. Vibes were great, but we hear a knock, knock, knock as the giant knocks on the door. Hi, I'm Churdleys, and this is a story about how I saved my friend from cutting his dick off while on shrooms. I'm with my friends, freshly out of high school, you know, we kicking it in our two bedroom apartment, Long Beach, five people live there. You do the math, I didn't have a room, I slept on the couch. I wanted to experiment with psychedelic drugs, so we did mushrooms. It was my first time doing shrooms, or any psychedelics, so I was a little nervous, and I had this expectation of, oh, we're all gonna be funny, or I'm gonna be the loud one. We were seeing fun things, we were laughing at things that didn't make any sense. Lo and behold, the room upstairs had a spiral staircase going up to it. it looked like a majestic synagogue, shining lights out like God coming out from the heavens, when really it was just a fluorescent light. When we were starting to see kaleidoscopes, things weren't making sense, but they were at the same time. I look up at this room glowing as though God is coming out from the clouds. This room was glory to me. This was the Alice in Wonderland. This was my promised land, my holy land. So I weasel my way up there, probably took 10 seconds, which felt like an eternity. We get there, we're in this new environment. We're all at peace. Vibes were great. Hearts were floating off the walls. The colors were immaculate, but we hear a knock, knock, knock as the giant our friend, he's just a normal sized man, knocks on the door. We open the door to see that his penis region was out and he expresses that he needs to pee. So we close the gates of our castle and lo and behold, he still pees, but he pees under our door. And then once the pee stream was over, that's when it took a turn for the worst. And our friend holding his penis in one hand must have thought that penis was a serpent, an evil, and wrongdoing slithering snake that he must retract from his body. And that's when he thought he must cut off his baby maker. And he kept saying, get this thing off of me. Get it away. I need it off. So we stood up as friends, even in our psychedelic state. What do we do? We didn't want him to make any rash decisions or any other form of self-harm. So it clicked to us. We must scream Italian phrases and words to him to get him out of his head because everyone loves Italy. Meatball, spaghetti, Martin Scorsese, Quentin Tarantino. And it worked. It got him thinking about the beauty in the world. Lady in the Tramp, the spaghetti scene. And I notice my voice. It was hoarse. So much Italian screaming left my voice gone. I went into the trip feeling as though I needed to entertain my friends, even though they probably didn't give a fuck. <laughs> so then I thought, I need to be Charlie Chaplin. People could be entertaining without a voice. I thought they were laughing at me. I thought I was entertaining them. But then I look and see, they're just living in the moment. They were laughing with each other and together. They're not even looking at me. They don't care. And that was a burden lifted off of me. If you're with people, that already like you, they'll like you for who you are. And I just sat there and lived with them. Lived with the moment and didn't try hard. And the moral of the story is, just be yourself. Even if your voice is gone after screaming Italian sounding phrases for an hour, because your friend's penis almost got ripped off and there's pee everywhere. This haircut is really bad, huh? Tales from the... <laughs>